All right, guys. So yesterday, um, I was I was in the sauna, right? I think I was yep. in the sauna. I was in the sauna, and I saw this poster. And I think it was out here at one point. They put they put their beautiful Christmas tree here because they have some sort of like what cat or something that Cause we celebrate holidays. We celebrate <laughs> holidays, so they can't do Christmas at their house, so they do it here, right? Yep, yep. Huh. Little kitty. All yeah, right, got you. Fair enough. Uh, but I saw this poster, and I was like, hey, what is that? And Andres here uh, kind of gave me a brief explanation, so he's going to give us another explanation because he's better at explaining it than I am. Yeah, guys, so we have this amazing technology. It is called the Cryo T-Shock. And what we're going to be doing today for Jeff is we're actually going to be doing one of the fat removal, fat destruction modalities in there. So the machine itself has a bunch of different uh, programmable settings. So uh, I've done recovery massages for folks. We do fat removal. We do cellulite. We do skin tightening, toning, uh, turkey necks, all kinds of amazing stuff with this one machine. So typically we'll end there for 30 minutes to 45 minutes. And we're going to let Jeff try it out to see how it works for him. Yeah, because you guys can definitely tell, like, I've got some, some definitely some fat going on here. So we're going to see if we uh, can get rid of that. And I, I told them that if this works, like, I'm going to cry at the end of the video or at, or, or at the end of the process. How, how long does the process usually take? So it is a body transformation. So what we're doing is we're heating up the fat cells. We're bringing them up to the surface of the skin. Then we're hitting them with the cold. That's going to freeze them because fat cells are 98% water. So they're going to expand. They're going to break their cell walls. That means that you're going to have to naturally flush them out through um, your body's natural processes. It can take up to two weeks or longer to see that complete removal of the fat cells and so what we're going to be doing for Jeff is I think we agreed we're going to try to do like a five to ten week uh, transformation for him so it'll be uh, this will be a good video guys and it's going to take some time but we're going to be getting some really good results afterwards and also uh, we are, since we are doing this I still will have videos every Monday about just kind of like this cryotherapy work so and uh, you know, we started off with the first day where I basically like threw out all the negative stuff I didn't need in my pantry and replaced it all with fruits and vegetables. That's amazing. My mom thought that was absolutely insane. So yeah. she's like, you're gonna have headaches by, by day three. And she was right, I had a headache, yeah, yeah. like a major one yesterday, yeah, so. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. It's part so. of the detoxing process. So uh, we show that a lot here whenever people get started on our uh, electrolyzed reduced water systems. You might feel a little yucky before you start feeling good again and that's because your body has to naturally remove those toxins so it's really important just to stick whenever you guys make a lifestyle change like that stick with it give it a good two weeks sometimes it can take up to a month but you'll feel really good afterwards by making that change we're going to do a thermal imaging analysis okay. on the to see what's underneath the surface of the skin okay. that way we can find out what program we need to use with our machine. Gotcha. All right, guys. So we are doing a thermal imaging analysis right now on the area that we're going to work with. And we can see, guys, some different colors here, some green. These are going to be the darker colors. Of course, that's the belly button, so we're not really worried about that. Blue, the pink. But where we see that blue and we see those darker colors, that is going to be uh, a more advanced form of fat cell. So that means that we need to target those areas a little bit more than just the regular green areas. What's up? Do you want to film? So we start with the heat and we're going to draw the fat to the surface of the skin with this heat. So we're trying to bring your temperature up to about 40 degrees Celsius. Okay. Now we're going to switch over to the cold. We're going to give that just a minute to cool down. This is where we are going to drop below freezing. Oh. And this is where the apoptosis and the cryolipolysis happens, the destructions of fat cells. 
Here we go, so we're starting to see some of that redness appear on the skin. That means that we're doing um, what we're doing. And the and goal is we're trying to get your skin temperature to hang out between two, ne negative 2.5 and negative 4.5 degrees Celsius. It's below freezing, so we freeze those fat cells and what we're doing now is we're heating it back up so we can get um, some of that dead fat to start to be getting released throughout the lymphatic system. Interesting. Alright, so I just got done my first session of the uh, cryo T-shock. It was interesting. It was like ice on my stomach and then heat on my stomach. And um, yeah, so we should see some results within like two weeks of that. Um, and I guess I'm doing another session uh, next week, so that'll be interesting, but a uh, very interesting experience. Now I'm going to hop into the sauna and try to sweat out some stuff. Alright guys, it is day five and Shelby's just walked in. Say hello to Shelby. Hi. Awesome. She's like right next to the guy drinking a thing of water. That's kind of cool. Just got done with uh, my fourth session of this thing. You step in it and you feel like Dr. Freeze after you step back out of it. And here, here's the man himself again. I'm at uh, day five of my journey so far. And uh, that thing kicks your butt, man. You're only in there for like a minute and 30 seconds, right? Is that how long I was in there for that You were in there for two and a half minutes. I was in there, wow. I felt, it felt like a minute and 30 for sure. That time, time flies in there, so. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, just giving you guys an update. Uh, things are going well. Uh, I have been tempted at home eating wise but I've actually done pretty well I haven't like gone into my temptation yet like nice. I've thrown up pretty much all that stuff but I get hungry and I'm so what, what what should I do if like I'm craving something like is there something I should have on like in, in my pantry or definitely number one water because sometimes a lot of people mistake hunger for thirst okay so drink you full uh, you know six ounces eight ounces of water and then you know there's some healthy options uh chocolate covered almonds dark chocolate covered almonds okay those. yeah definitely you can go with that uh what i was going to suggest is like things that are low car calorie intensive uh celery with some hummus or peanut butter uh Should carrots, stay away from protein bars uh, if you're looking for crunchy things um yeah you could actually make your own protein bars at home okay uh, you can get some dates uh, grind them up in the fruit processor, okay. mix them with some nuts, flaxseed, uh, hemp seed, really good. Uh, mix those together, a little bit of coconut oil, and you can make yourself just put them, uh, put it, layer them in a little pan, uh, put them in the freezer, and then in a couple hours you can cut them into your own protein bars. You know, what, you know, what, guys, you know what we're gonna do, and I haven't even discussed this with uh, Andres yet. We're gonna go to his place and we're gonna make those sometime for, on video. Does that sound cool with you? Sounds good. And then Shelby, you'll be in that too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. For food? Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna. Oh, make... For sure. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna. I'm the main cooker in the house. She's the main cookery at the house. Yeah. So cool. We'll definitely, I'll look forward to that in future episodes. But I just wanted to give you guys an update. It is day five, and things are going well. <laughs>